And out the top at 5.30, we start with a very important safety alert. A little-known disease spread by insect bites has turned deadly. And tonight, health officials are expressing serious concerns about it. Good evening, I'm Jim Barry. And I'm Naja Sherman. More than 8,000 cases of the Oropuche virus have been reported this year. Health officials told me today there are 30 confirmed cases in Florida. I found out what you need to know to stay safe. The assembly of the Cuban resistance based in Miami, Florida, held a briefing on the widespread Oropuche virus in Cuba. Cases of this virus, which is transmissible by mosquitoes, are now growing in Cuban communities. And given the extensive back and forth travel between Cuba and South Florida, the assembly of Cuban resistance is sounding the alarm. The assembly of the Cuban resistance is extremely concerned about the epidemiological and sanitary condition in Cuba as uh, this uh, Oropoche virus has spread all over the island. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says at least 21 U.S. travelers returning from Cuba have tested positive for Oropuche virus. The CDC also issued a health advisory warning health care providers and public health authorities to be on the lookout for new cases. Symptoms include sudden onset of fever, chills, headache, muscle pain, and joint stiffness. Other symptoms can include eye pain, light sensitivity, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, and rash. In rare cases, the disease can infect the nervous system and cause meningitis and encephalitis. With this type of virus, you can get it again, and it can happen uh, for the second time within days or up to a week after the first episode. Infectious disease expert with the Cleveland Clinic, Dr. Lisette Cardona, told me the virus spreads to people through insect bites, especially from biting midges, a type of tiny fly and certain mosquitoes. This year also marks the first time that there have been deaths reported to the Oropuche virus and evidence that the disease can be transmitted from a pregnant woman to her fetus and cause adverse birth outcomes. Dr. Cardona offers this advice to protect yourself. To make sure you're protecting your skin of mosquitoes uh, or insect bites with repellents or wearing long sleeves, long pants, trousers, uh, so that you prevent exposure to the bites. There is no vaccine to protect against the virus and there are no antiviral treatments available. The CDC is recommending that pregnant people reconsider non-essential travel to Cuba right now.